Pisces, welcome to the Urban Jungle Studio in Cancun, Mexico, here right at sunset, I'd say. It's a little uh, orange glow over here hitting that building, those leaves. So, uh, end in the week, uh, meet the soulmate, meet your soulmate read. Always positive read. Um, this is uh, just for the one that's right for you, so that's why it's always positive. You see the Three of Swords, no one's breaking up with you. You know, nothing to worry about like that. So, um, I'll look at uh, eight cards. I'll do two cards for the emotional aspect, two cards for the intellectual, pull two cards for what I call sexual and uh, love nature, and two cards for lifestyle and core values, I call it. Sort of looking at four pillars of a relationship. And we can get just an idea of what your person's like. It's meant to be a predictive read, Pisces. So, probably someone. If they're in your life, I mean, they just came in your life. Or it's going to be someone coming first half of December, we're saying. Wow. This is where I read the moon. This is in their emotional nature. Of course, uh, Aquarius card, the star. Let me see what I got under the star. And four of pentacles. Wow. Now, this is uh, the conscious is up above these four cards. Unconscious, you could say. More awareness here at the top. And on the bottom could be deep unconscious. Here it's deep unconscious. It's already the emotional column. Um, so um, let me also look at their intellectual too. Five of Swords. Um, and the Hierophant. Wow. It's just like I could just do the whole reading here. I'm pretty sure there's a lot going on. Um... They had a childhood um, where there wasn't a lot of money, but there was a lot of hope. Um, and I think like uh, somehow the parents were educated. Um, I just see them being um, involved in the world. Um, and I think if they tell their childhood story, it's what I see here a lot, and also get their son this is going to be an Aquarius moon, I should say. Boom, I mean, that's Aquarius card. Boom, that's the moon position. I'll read the bottom, too, sometimes and, and just see how it feels. Uh, that's Aquarius, so we know that. Um, you're going to have an air sun here, um, and it's combative. Um, I would think it's fixed energy, fixed air, and that they've got a sun and moon and Aries, this person. I mean, it does have enough. Um, and there's something about wealth being attached to marriage, you know. I mean, it could almost be like a theme with them. I bet you in their childhood that uh, somehow um, that was the case. Um, one parent was dependent upon the other somehow, something like that, uh, through marriage. Or it could have been someone... Uh, this could be a trust baby. Could be someone gets a trust fund. Just thought of that. Um, and, um, you know, with this hair font here, too, it's like the trust fund would come in some strange way. Like they were the son of a stepfather, as an example, who passed or who just said, okay, you're 18. I'm going to give you, I know you're. With a trust fund, usually some issue. I know, I know better to give you like a, you know a million dollars, but I'll give you this much every week so you don't starve, you go urchin or something like this could really be, um, and then it could be something in in marriage too, like mom married up or dad married up, um, this kind of thing. Um, but it seems like with this Aquarius energy, and then with the hair font too, um, this is someone has very strong opinions and. They're probably uh, um, simpatico uh, with whatever like culture they're brought up in, whatever tradition they're brought up in, uh, whatever uh, religion, you know. Um, so, and they're going to be kind of ready to defend that. So, remember, I said this is your person. I say like they're perfect. I'm not saying they're like a defensive person. I'm saying this is a person who wouldn't have any trouble, like defending, uh, particularly I think what they believe in. But that could even extend further than that. There's a really brave energy here with this Five of Swords. I mean, really, if you look at the cards, like he's like, yeah, that was I was horrible, but I made it because I'm not gonna die. And he still looks kind of defiant. 
a little different reading of the five of swords usually it's like man what did i happen was it really worth it it's so horrible this was like you know what i had to be done um i'm not gonna cry over spilled milk i just get a very strong kind of energy with them now i'm gonna look at the bottom here ace of wands i'm sending the love and sexual nature here ace of wands let me see what's under that ace of swords wow i told you it's like a strong energy with this person um even with this ace of wands you know i feel like this someone's gonna be very direct like very direct maybe a little too direct for some people's taste um they will not even like be able to tell a lie and you know with the five of swords here and the star i think like they're gonna be able to detect lies like you know you don't want to lie to them um and now aquarius sun and moon this has to be a venus uh, aries aries and venus god P -A -A aries and venus and um mars i think this mars could be in gemini got a feeling about them um if you combine this aries and Gemini energy. Um, that's a conflagration. I mean, what happens to fire when you put air with it? That's air, Gemini. And it's beautiful air. It's like a lot of air. So it's really flaming that, that fire. Um, so this is someone that, um, in terms of love and relationship, they're going to, uh, seeing that this is your soulmate, like when you meet them. I think they're going to know right away and expect them to be they're very direct anyway and they can't say like oh but they're all soft when they close the bedroom door no they're pretty direct right all along um and they're uh, probably going to be very passionate love making you know gemini mars is pretty hot a lot of people miss that i don't know uh whatever else you might say about gemini mars is um there uh, it's a very hot energy especially when it's fanning the flames of love um, so this someone too, um, I don't see them fooling around a lot. I see them taking love very seriously. They're looking for like literally one, that, that special one. That may be part of their vocabulary. I'm looking for the one. Uh, heart of gold may bring them to tears. I'm saying it does me. I was saying that for a friend. You know, this kind of energy with them. Um, I see them really kind of investing themselves. So probably wouldn't, I don't be interested to see what their stories with a person like this. It probably wouldn't have had a lot of multiple relationships, multiple marriage, wouldn't have that. Probably um, not um, too much trouble. I mean, it, um, the Aquarius energy is very smart. <laughs> um, and with a Venus, uh, you know, in Aries, it's a little bit of a predator. Um, but I think they'll be very selective, huh? with them so that's what i mean by hot don't take that in a good way <laughs> nine of cups okay this is in their lifestyle and core values that is very interesting there's gemini bars right there nine of cups i always see gemini there in a the wheel of fortune now that's a tough one we come in with the star and we go out with the wheel of fortune that's interesting uh for our major arcana here <sighs> 17 and 10 and then the nine of cups. This person could have eighth house energy. This is gonna sound weird, but I'm telling you, and they also like uh, inherited, work for, benefit from the family business. Most likely a family business. Um, again, or like a trust fund, literally, huh? could be that's there's jupiter i mean that's like winning the lottery it's good luck um that's like uh 25 degrees aquarius and getting up right now um so always look for that it's coming to us down near you in pisces the mosquito i'm sorry i can't like just let them live <laughs> uh, but yeah they're coming to pisces jupiter's gonna rip through pisces it's gonna be cool so let me know guys what you think of that leave me a comment subscribe hit the bell thank you